Hello guys, in this video I want to show you uh, the simple implementation of Katya rules. So why I this, did this with rules? Uh, before uh, I figure out these rules, I use uh, this uh, uh, parameterization with uh, Excel table. So I don't want to use it anymore. So I want to use uh, these rules. So I made here three rules one for a version of the part so before you want to create these rules you need some parameters here so i have bright whole radius length uh, and version of this part so in this this is first version so if i go here and change for example two i will uh, get these other parameters here so how did i do it I will go here to this rule. So in this rule, you can see when this uh, Ausführung is number two. If uh, this parameter, for example, how will you create this rule? So you go here and type if, and then double click here, for example, and equals to let's say four. Let's say four, and then. You need brackets and then for example I will just uh, copy this this from here but first time you need to to click on uh, this parameter for example this language double click I want here not here so double click on this parameter and uh, equals to what for example I don't know 100 and other parameters I will just copy so you can copy for a second or third time but first time you need to click on this parameter here so copy and paste paste and you can see here no syntax error you can check here also if you have some errors and if I click OK if I go here to our and put uh, for example number four and you will get here one get so you can also change this I don't know if, if I put here for example um, 200 you will get here you will get this so you can change this else view and get, that, get this um, parameters uh, so this is first first rule for uh, for parent parameterization second rule is for activation so with this rule you can activate or deactivate any element inside of Katia tree so if you go to activation you, you will see here uh, again the same same principle so if I go for example here I will say if and then uh, I want to use this for example I'll, I can use this this string C so if it equal to for example C uh, you need to use brackets here again and I want for example to deactivate this pad here so double click one click and go here to activity so double click on the activity and then equals to let's say false and when it's not a C, you can you want to say else it will be active. So brackets again, and now you can copy this, paste, it. and you can say here true. So when when it's C, it will be deactivated, and when it's uh, any other here I have colors it will be active as you can see so this is a uh, second rule and third rule is for color I have here so I have here uh, this uh, string parameter with uh, name of the colors as you can see and I go here to color and you can see here if this um, and this string equals to red you want to red color if you if it's green it's green color and so on you can see also you can type a hex code so if I click OK and if I go it's um, 
I will say it's blue. I have problem here. Let's see what's what is problem. Uh, a string blue. And maybe because of this activation rule, I will just delete this rule and OK. And now let's see. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. It's uh, this uh, pad here. So I will just go to here. So I, I created this rule for this uh, uh, pad here. If you go here and you you, you will see uh, here is parameter string uh, abstractor and it is this pad here. So you can change this blue, for example, blue, uh, blue, red, or any other color. You can also, as you can see here in the rule, you can type uh, hex color. So I made these three rules. I need them for parameterization of this part. I don't want to use this uh, table anymore. I think this is much better option because you don't have other other files connected with this part it's much better so i hope that we help you with this problem and that you learn something today